Hey, you guys. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Unleashed Alchemy. So, I want to, this is going to be a very quick video. And I didn't want to wait to talk about this, but there seems to be this idea that you have to fix something about yourself, that you have to fix something about your life that you have to heal first, that you have to retune or refine your thoughts first, first before receiving what you want or living the life that you desire. There's this huge it, 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 and I don't know where it's coming from, but here's, here's what I want to tell you. Stop focusing on fixing. Some of you may disagree with this, but I'm also going to, to say, stop focusing on healing. Stop. Maybe that's the same thing. Stop focusing on fixing. You don't need to fix anything. You don't need to heal all these different things or heal your thoughts or heal, you know, from this or heal from trauma or heal from anything. It's almost as if we're looking at those those aspects as, you know, I can't have or I can't live the life that I that is so fulfilling for me until I go through all this 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 long list of healing and fixing things about me before I'm worthy of this life and this big vision that I see so there's so what's happening is that there's you and then way on the other side is that soul fulfilled life that you imagine, that you've journaled, that you've scripted, that you've affirmed, but yet you're focusing on all the stuff that you think that you've created, that you think that you need to fix first before getting or before you're worthy of your vision. And I wanna tell you, here's the thing, if you keep focusing on, oh, I have to fix this, I have to heal from this, I, it'll be a constant journey. It will be a constant of that. And what you have to ask yourself is, is that how I want to live my life? I'll answer it for you, no. Because how you want to live your life, you have already seen. But instead, which is why some of you may be getting, you know, frustrated, you know, you're saying you're at, you're affirming, you are, I don't know, lighting candles, perhaps you are doing energy clearing, you're doing all of these things and you're not seeing movement or perhaps movement is taking place, but you're not recognizing movement because you're still focusing on the fact that you need to fix all of these things, that you need to heal from all these things, that you need to re retune and refine all your thoughts. When the only thing that you have to do is decide who you are. Does that sound simple? Yes. Because it is. Because it is. And where does that simplicity come from? It comes from the power of your words. It comes from the power of the I am and who you say that you are. Because who you say that you are, it trumps all of that. As long as you continue to focus on the things that you need to fix and things that you need to retune and refine, your vision will always be a day ahead of you. It will always be a week ahead of you. And you'll always feel like you're reaching for it. When all you have to do is switch your focus. 
all you have to do is switch your focus. And a lot of that focusing on the retuning and the fixing, a lot of that comes from what you believe that you deserve. A lot of that stems from self-worth. So instead of you being in the the mind, or I don't even want to say mindset, instead of you being in the identity of this is my vision, this is how I see myself living my life, this is what is rejuvenating for me, this is what fills my soul, so I deserve it, I accept it, and now I receive it. Deserve it, you deserve it because you were born, because you're breathing, because you're watching this video. You deserve it, you came into this body, you deserve it. It's inherently yours. There's a reason why your heart was created first. Your heart contains all of these soul fulfilled desires. So you already deserve it. So there's nothing that you need to fix. You deserve it. You accept it. And now you re just now you just receive it. So instead of you being in that existing in that and operating from that, instead you're saying, I see this vision, but I got to do all this stuff first. I got to take care of all this stuff first. I got to retune. I got to refine. I got to get rid of imposter syndrome, whatever. I have to, you know, get rid of the guilt. I got to, instead of you focusing on, on, I deserve it. I accept it. And now I receive it. Your mind is clogged up with all of the fixing. And so you continue to tell yourself, when I do this, when I fix this, then I can have that. I saw this comment and I forgot what I was even doing, but I, I recognized this comment and it was someone saying that, and it wasn't a comment on any of my videos, but it was a comment that someone made. They said that they have a desire to be a writer to write stories and they said well I'll write this book but first I have to work on myself but first I have to they said first I have first I have to work on myself first I have to work on getting out of my own way the focus is off the focus it needs to be on just being the author and allowing the stories to come through. Forget about that other stuff. Who do you say that you are? In that individual's case, that, that person is saying that they are the author. Go write the book. Who cares about that other stuff? Go write the book. So who do you say that you are? So I want to leave you with this. Your vision is there. It's in front of you. It's vibrating in front of you, waiting for you to just reach out and embrace it. The new identity is there. Reach out and embrace it. Your desire, again, it is there. The vision is there. What you've imagined is here. So, step into, I deserve it. I accept it. And now I receive it that's it. All right. So I know that this video was short, but I, I had to record it now, give the message now. So let me know what your takeaways are from that video. And until next time, cheers.